Washington commanders overhaul leadership with renowned executives after Ron Rivera's firing. In a decisive move to revamp the football leadership of the Washington Commanders, team owner Josh Harris has initiated a major overhaul, starting with the dismissal of coach Ron Rivera on Monday morning. The franchise has enlisted the expertise of two highly regarded executives, former Golden State Warriors general manager Bob Myers and former Minnesota Vikings GM Rick Spielman, to guide the search for a new head of football operations and head coach, according to team officials. Rivera, who joined the Commanders in 2020, held the final say in all football decisions and played a key role in shaping the team's front office. Despite clinching the NFC East title in his first season with a 7-9 record, the Commanders struggled to maintain a winning record under his leadership. Expressing gratitude to the fans, Rivera acknowledged the team's shortcomings, stating, We did win an NFC East title in 2020, but we fell short since then, and for that, I am truly disappointed. The team finished the recent season at 4-13, securing the last position in the NFC East, and posted a 26-40-1 record during Rivera's four-year tenure. In response to the disappointing performance, Harris emphasized the need for a strategic shift in leadership and approach, leading to the swift decision to part ways with Rivera. Harris expressed his appreciation for Rivera's qualities as a good man and a thoughtful leader, but he underlined that the results were not satisfactory. To spearhead the search for new leadership, Harris has formed an advisory committee consisting of Myers, Spielman, and limited partners Mitch Rowles, Magic Johnson, and David Blitzer. The committee aims to reshape the commander's front office and coaching staff. The search for new leadership will be expedited, with Myers taking the lead in identifying and coordinating interviews for top football operations and head coaching positions. Spielman, leveraging his 30-year NFL front office experience, will work closely with Myers in the selection process. The allure of the commander's job openings is heightened by the team's possession of the number two pick in the 2024 draft, featuring a quarterback-rich pool of talent. Additionally, the team is projected to have substantial salary cap space, making it an attractive destination for potential candidates. Harris, closely involved in the search processes, highlighted the pivotal role of Myers in the new leadership structure. Myers, renowned for architecting four championships with the Warriors, is expected to bring his championship-winning experience and industry relationships to the Commanders. Spielman, with a wealth of football knowledge accumulated over his 30-year career, is seen as a valuable asset in the candidate evaluation process. The current front office, including GM Martin Mayhew and executive VP Marty Herney, will remain on staff during the search process. In a statement, Harris acknowledged Myers' championship resume and industry connections, stating, Bob Myers is a winner, who wouldn't want him on your team trying to help your franchise? He knows how to identify talent, how to build winning franchises, winning cultures. Myers, who stepped down as GM of the Warriors in June, expressed excitement about contributing to the commander's next chapter. Spielman, fired from the Vikings in January 2022 after nine years as GM, brings extensive NFL experience to the table. The overhaul comes after Harris purchased the commanders for an NFL record $6.05 billion in May replacing the controversial owner Daniel Snyder. Harris aims for a rapid yet thoughtful approach to establish the Commanders as an elite team, and he believes that the combination of Myers and Spielman will play a crucial role in achieving this goal. As the Commanders enter a crucial offseason, Harris is determined to build a winning culture from top to bottom, acknowledging the challenges but expressing confidence in the direction the franchise is heading.